I was approached by um, Christopher Bidmead, who was then script editor, and he'd got my name from uh, BBC Radio Drama. I'd, I'd done some plays over there, and someone thought I was worth recommending. And he uh, contacted me and asked if I'd be prepared to uh, deliver a storyline to him, and I did. And after a long pause, um, he came back and said, what I do is seen breakdown, which is to detail the whole script, just but only in a couple of lines for each scene. I did that, uh, that seemed to be okay, but then, then for some reason there was another long delay. And then he finally came back and said, uh, would I like to write the whole thing? Which is what I did. A, a girlfriend I had at the time, she was doing uh, Charles II, and um, she happened to mention uh, the uh, Great Fire and the Plague, and we were just talking about uh, what, what happened to the rats afterwards, because they died, about, because they was prone to the plague as well. And I thought that might be an interesting idea for a science fiction thing of how someone comes back. And then the Doctor Who bit just slipped in around it. You've got to bear in mind that uh, you've got a six-day studio, in our case I think we had five and a day's location. Um, and th that you have to take on board. When I briefed writers, I always said, you've got six studio days, you've got, uh, you can have six sets, you can have 20 or 30 extras, and about 10 talking parts. And people used to say, well, that's a sort of fascist way of script editing. I said, no, I, I don't want someone to come back with a, a movie script costing millions of pounds to make, and we just have to say, no, we can't do it. That, there is a reality there which you've got to take on board. Christopher bid me didn't want to stay. And, uh, and was it Anthony Root? Anthony Root came in. Uh, he was a staff man and he was asked, he, was, he wanted to be a script editor. And they said, you've got to, to do a certain amount of script editing to prove you can do it. And he came in three months and then he, he didn't want to stay on, so they put him on Chinese Detective, I think. And uh, I was called in to cover the three months and stay for five years. And I think people don't realize that how much rewriting goes on. It's not because the writer is necessarily bad or an idiot, it's because time is a factor, uh, the person isn't really up to it. I was talking to uh, Stephen Moffat the other day, and we, he, was, he was saying about commissioning uh, writers and how difficult it is, and he named several that, I won't tell you who, who are quite well known and have tried and failed dismally. Now, it isn't because they have the skills, I think it's they haven't got the overall, be able to take the concept on board. and do it with a bit of thrust and energy. I just don't think they, they can get their mind around the concept of what they're doing, of, of a, a, a time lord, of, of, of people travelling in time and space. And, and some, because of some, most of them have, have done stuff that's set in London, you know, um, open, internal, uh, whatever it is, uh, kitchen in terraced house. And, and suddenly you're, you're being presented with, well, you can go anywhere and do anything. And some of them just can't manage it. Having said that, when I did a um, a visitation, not visitation, Earthshock. I um, I try. I wanted to make a movie. See, I, I wanted it to be as fast and as furious as it could. I didn't say anything to John. I didn't say anything to Peter Grimway, who finished up directing it. Uh, but I came up with the, the script, 300 scenes, a um, lot of action, and uh, they they got to work on it, which was amazing, really. So in a way, I made my film but it was done in studios. The thing was that I had written the script. Um, Anthony Root was supposed to, to look at it and advise, but he was so involved with his own show that um, nobody did. So I, I looked at it myself, not with a script editor's hat on, but, but being a, how dramatic would the thing be? How would it work? How would uh, it be, it'd fit into, as, well, as I said earlier, it would fit into the, the parameters of what Doctor Who has to take on board, people write Doctor Who has to take on board.